All right, let's start off with some of the more casual videos about the Chernobyl Exclusion Zone. That being wildlife in the Chernobyl Exclusion Zone. What you can see here is uh, the cooling pond for the Chernobyl nuclear power plants. And you can see there's huge amounts of fish in them. These giant fish there are catfish. There is a huge one from up close. It's easily two meters long and way over ten years old. But you can see it's not mutated. It has normal eyes, normal fins, normal everything. Just a totally normal body. And it just spat out some bread there, which is kind of funny. But uh, these catfish are a tourist attraction, so they're being fed all day. And sometimes they're just fed up, literally. So, um, yeah, anyway, they are not mutated. They're just that big because nobody catches them, you know. They don't have any predators. There are no humans sitting there fishing for them because they're too contaminated. Catfish eat from uh, the bottom, they pretty much eat garbage and stuff all day, unless they are being fed with bread. And uh, the sediment in that cooling pond is actually the most radioactive bit. The water is not all that radioactive, it's mostly the sediment. But as they go through that, and are uh, looking for food, they become quite contaminated and concentrate the cesium and all the other radioisotopes that were expelled from Chernobyl when it exploded. And while I didn't do any studies on their genetics or if they have more uh, chromosomal aberrations than the average catfish has, you can see these qu catfish are quite normal. Nothing wrong with them. No mutations visible. They're just huge because they don't have any predators. And they're being fed well, apparently. Here are some of the other fish, which look just normal as well. The common rod, carp. There's a lot of fish there. It would be awesome to go fishing in that cooling pond. And then take a sample of that meat of the fish without killing it, and that's possible. But yeah, so far it was impossible to get permission for that. So we'll just have to stick with looking at all these nice big fish. There comes the catfish again. What a beautiful creature, isn't he? I don't know, it's something between cute and scary. Just the way he looks. And he grabs another piece of bread just to spit it. Just look at his nice big head. The other end looks like a knife. I really like those fish. I think he ate it this time. Oh well. 